3, the Electronic Entertainment Expo, the gaming industry's largest and hottest event, is three days of pure video game heaven. Every year, the Los Angeles Convention Center houses thousands of gamers and industry professionals in the heart of downtown LA to get their game on. Video Game Saga will be at E3 this year, bringing you all the latest and greatest from the show floor. In preparation for the big show next week, Video Game Saga is bringing you this special E3 2010 preview. Oh boy, let me tell you, I'm more excited than a little kid getting an NES on Christmas. We can expect some big announcements and updates on Sony's motion controller, Nintendo's 3DS, and most certainly Microsoft's Microsoft's Natal that will change the way we interact with video games. Plus, let's not forget all the kick-ass video games that will be making their debut at this year's show. So, let's take a look at what we can expect to see at the show from the big three. Let's we'll start off with Nintendo. Now, Metroid Other M will be combining gameplay from Metroid Prime and the NES Classic, which is sure to be playable on the show floor. Fans have been raving about this new Samus Adventure ever since last year's show with the uh, teaser trailer, and I've been jonesing to get my hands on this game. The new Legend of Zelda title has been shrouded with mystery, but back in January, Nintendo president Satoru Iwata-san shedded some light by stating that the new Zelda title will be showcased at E3 and there are talks of the game being playable. Also, it has been confirmed that the game will fully support the Motion Plus device, which totally makes sense with Link's sword play. Could you imagine if, if somebody made a life-size Master Sword that can house your Wii Remote? Man, that would be so awesome. The new Nintendo 3DS has been receiving tons of praise since the Japanese teaser trailer hit the net, and without the need for 3D glasses, it is sure to be one of the most anticipated announcements of the show. Oh, oh my god, visions of Super Mario Brothers and Metroid on the 3DS just gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. I mean, heck, who knows, maybe we might even get a Kid Icarus game, you know, in the future flying in on the 3D on the screens. That would be awesome. Now with Microsoft, there's no doubt that Project Natal will be a huge emphasis this year. Ricochet Rocket will once again make the tech demo this year. Also, we can expect to see River Rush and two new tech demos revealed to be Living Statue and Obstacle Course. Stay tuned because on the 14th and 15th, a dozen third-party Natal games are to be announced. Peter Molyneux in Ninehead Studios Fable 3 is sure to create a fable tell of its own with the huge hype it will receive at the show. Molyneux is taking the game in a new direction, adding in tons of new gameplay content. Uh, the reason why he's doing this is he wants to make it a little different from the first two titles he was saying. For those who got in on the Halo Reach beta, and for those who unfortunately didn't, if you're attending the show, this is a surefire way to get your hands on the game. The breathtaking first-person shooter is sure to win some E3 2010 awards. And last but not least, we got Sony. Sony's PlayStation Move controller is going to be playable on the show floor and will directly compete with Nintendo's Wii motion technology. Uh, SOCOM 4 will be one of many Move games at the show. It'll be interesting to see how many Wii gamers will also try out Sony's motion controls, uh, especially some of the more older older gamers in the adult audience that, uh, that the Wii has. Little Big Planet 2 is the sequel to the highly successful and innovative Little Big Planet that took the world by storm. In the sequel, you will once again be controlling Sackboy characters, but now there will be an expansion to your building tools by being able to build and create racing, puzzle, and role-playing games. That's going to be really fun, and it's going to add a whole new level of creativity and level designs. And as with the first Little Big Planet, you know you'll be able to upload those to the uh, Little Big Planet community and uh, share those, which is going to be really cool. Sony's going to be showcasing tons of outstanding sequels, and Killzone 3 will be one of them. The game will feature similar gameplay mechanics to its predecessor, but the game's environments will allow you to explore more because they're being expanded on. Uh, you're going to be able to explore arctic landscapes, an alien jungle, nuclear wastelands, and battles in space. And for those who can't get enough jetpack action, uh, Killzone 3 will have you covered. Uh, it was definitely a big feature in Killzone Liberation on the PSP. God of War Ghost of Sparta is the second outing on the PSP for the God of War franchise. The game will boast higher resolution levels and character models, as well as 25% more gameplay over its predecessor, Chains of Olympus. Now, not much else has really been revealed about this title, so we can expect some juicy details next week. Whew! That's a lot of awesome games. I mean, it's got my head spinning, and I haven't even began to scratch the surface of all the goodness that is in store for us from Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft. Not to mention all the amazing third-party developers and publishers that are going to be at the show. Capcom, Sega, Konami, Square Enix, the list goes on and on. I am so excited. Stay tuned as I head out for LA next week, where I'll be bringing you coverage from Video Game Heaven. E3, baby.
done.